Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Gakuin Club. We are on Toma Sakai's route. We've come quite a long way. In the last episode, he performed in a school play, and it seems like he's a pretty good actor and can memorize lines at an incredible rate. So let's see if he'll decide to pick acting over modeling. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Word spreads throughout the school that Toma had been on stage. It must be hard that Kitagawa has to explain again and again that there won't be another showing, but she also seems happy. Toma is so popular. Toma is so different than usual when he's on the stage. I wish everyone could have seen it. Nobody taped it? Although Toma himself has been quiet all day, perhaps because he's tired. He seems a little dazed, so it's hard to approach him. It's lunchtime. I wonder what Toma's going to do. I've actually been going to lunch with Toma a lot lately. But he doesn't look like he's going to move today, so I head to the dining hall alone, wanting to give him his space. I hope he's okay. This kind of isn't sounding right. Why are you going alone? I know that you don't want me by you, but... No, it's not like that! I hear a hurt voice coming from behind me as I'm walking down the hallway. Toma! I I'm sorry, you came after me. I did. It's almost like I feel uncomfortable if I'm not by your side. Oh, Akane, come on! Throw the guy a bone! What? It's an offhanded remark. I know there's no deep meaning behind it. But I still find my heart pounding. Akane, you're so cruel! I feel my cheeks grow warmer, so I decide to start walking again before I can notice. Tomo follows behind me without saying a word. I, I guess your fans aren't here today. There's usually a crowd of girls that would be following him from behind. I finally had enough, so I told him to stop following me. Oh, So, does it mean that he asked them to stop chasing him on top of them giving up a bit? I'm so confused. I hope Toma can finally relax now, but when I consider how this makes everyone feel, there's not much I can say. In any case, I was cheered on. What? Cheered on? I turn at these unexpected words. But when I do, Tomo runs right into me, my face getting buried in his chest. The perfect place to be... Uh, ow! Oh, what are you doing? His handsome face is coming closer, as if to peer into my eyes. The eye contact makes me feel self-conscious, and I take a step back. Why are you backing away? But because you're so close. Oh, I see. You're embarrassed? This makes you blush? It's kind of cute. W what are you saying? Toma looks back at me curiously. I think it'd be better if you didn't say things like that. People might get the wrong impression. Wrong impression? Why? Is there some problem? I honestly don't know what he means. I tilt my head to the side while making a confused face. Come on, talk things out, you two. Quit being vague. Get it out there. I think it would be a problem. You should only say that to someone who's special to you. What are you talking about? You cheered me on and told me to do my best. So I think it's fine. You're special to me, so... My heart beats faster when he uses the word special to describe me. Even when I know that he means that I'm special because I'm the person he's latched onto, I almost get the wrong impression. Ah, you silly girl! I don't think I'm ever going to explain this to Toma in a way he'd understand. There's no point in continuing. I start walking to change the subject. Let's go. I want to make sure we can get a seat. You're right. By the way, why did you go on ahead without me? It looked like you were doing some thinking, so I thought you might have wanted to be alone. Ah, I guess with all the changes, I've had something I was thinking about. There's not something troubling you, is there? No. If you're interested, you should pay close attention to me. Toma smiles faintly as I examine him. <laughs> what is he thinking about? He wants your love! Toma seems completely different from his usual self at the nightclub tonight. I'm sorry for the wait. Thank you for requesting me tonight once again. He speaks to a guest with an inviting smile. He's almost not like Toma at all. Much more inviting and cheerful. I'm staring blankly at Toma when he suddenly approaches the back room. 
Are you ready for another order? Huh? It's the usual Toma. Usual? I'm me. Although I'm using the Minakawa method today. <laughs> Are you practicing your acting with the club? You were imitating Minakawa? Yes, that's right. Toma seems to be having fun talking about it. He smiles like he successfully pulled off some prank. Wait, is it... Um, does that mean you'll be acting here too? Yes, pretty good idea, isn't it? It's more fun than I thought, and I think it's helping me to win people over. So I guess this is his plan to help him get first place. <laughs> then shouldn't he be imitating Kamiki since he's always been the number one? And Satomo would mimic a different personality every day, surprising the guests and all of us at the nightclub. Seems everyone is too hesitant to ask Toma about it directly. He might be doing it to get first place. But watching him, it's hard to imagine that's all it is. He's just having fun. There have been more and more guests lately, and we've been full every day. Oh, thanks to Toma. Everyone's working so hard. Maybe I'll wash some dishes. I look at the mountain of dirty plates and force a smile. When there are more customers, there's also more orders. Let's do this. What are you firing yourself up to do? An exasperated comment is hurled at me. I flinch and turn. Thomas standing there. He comes to help me put away the dishes. You scared me. I was firing myself up to tackle this pile of dirty dishes. We've had so many customers today. That's true. There might be even more tomorrow. Seems all the guests are saying they want to bring their friends here. Oh, I see. Understanding that there's quite a bit at stake, I fire myself up again. Toma, can you put the dirty dishes over there? There's no more room in the kitchen. Okay. He responds, and I assume he's going back out to the dining area, but he comes and stands next to me at the sink. Toma, don't you need to go back out to the guests? I'm taking a short break. It's quite tiring to play so many parts. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Does that mean I won't get to see much more of his performance? That's too bad. Why do you look so disappointed? Did you think I would quit because it's tiring? Y you're not going to stop? Of course not. I'm going to keep doing it because the guests really like it. Oh, right. But isn't it hard on you? I'm a little worried you might be pushing yourself too hard. I want to see more, but I don't want him pushing himself. I'm not. Actually, I've never thought about doing anything other than modeling. I look up at Toma next to me. He looks like a child who's just found a new playground. But acting is a strange feeling. It's like becoming a new me. It's really fun. Like, it's hard work, but it's worth it? Yes, that's it. I've surprised myself that I'm capable of such passion. It's not that he's pushing himself too hard. He's having fun. I'm really happy that he's found something like that for himself. Why am I telling you all this? I'm sure this is just boring you. No! No, I really like it. Having known you before and after the performance with the drama club. I like you better now. I can tell how much fun you're having. L like me? You're exaggerating. I'm not. I'd rather see you excited and engaged like you are now than when you always seem so bored. Whatever people may tell you, you just do what you want to do, Toma. Okay. Toma nods gently. All my previous experience had been about capturing a single moment, but acting is different. Toma looks out at the brilliant world of the nightclub. That is his stage. That thrill that I would get in the moment, I now get the whole time I'm acting. I've never been as excited in my life. Toma's cheeks are a little flushed as he turns to me. I've also never told anybody what I wanted to do like this before. Acting is starting to become something very special to Toma. He had always thought he would follow the path of becoming a model, but now he's looking to go down a different path. Toma, please tell me if there's ever anything I can do. I find myself telling Toma this. All I can do is cheer you on. I think that's all I need. I might fail, but just keep cheering me on. He says, and I find myself with the biggest smile on my face, nodding vehemently. Since then, Toma has continued to change the way he entertains the guests even more. It may have started with trial and error, 
but now he's able to cater his personality to each of the guests. Something has changed with Toma, even more than before. He used to seem like he never paid attention to anyone, but he wouldn't be able to serve the guests like he does now if he didn't learn how to observe others. Observing others before acting could be considered simple, but it's really helped him change so much. It may seem small, but I can't help but smile at what he's done. I'm realizing just now how much I'm watching Toma. My heart skips a beat. I feel a change inside me as well. At this rate, I'm sure Toma will reach first place. When he does, the sad feeling I used to get before feels even stronger now. But my desire to cheer Toma on is even greater right now. I'm sure I'll be able to overcome the sadness. That's what I believe. A few days pass, and it comes time to announce the rankings. First place is... I can sense everyone's tension. It feels like we're waiting forever for Minakawa to announce the winner. Please. I don't know exactly what I'm praying for. I just do it. The winner of our final battle is you, Toma Sakai. Everyone turns to look at Toma. His expression is quieter than I'd imagine, as if he'd already known the results. Aw, we're ending on that. Darn it, why do they always do this to us? It's never in a good place to break. Oh, we get a nice new background. Is this? I guess this is the library. Why is everyone congratulating Toma on his win in the library? I don't know, but we'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> so, hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye, everybody.